Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this Jello poke cake that is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Stick around. We're going to use just a basic box cake. I chose the Duncan Hines classic white cake. So for that, I need one cup of water. I need three egg whites and a quarter cup of oil. That's for the cake. And then for the jello poke part, I picked up this Rebel Force Berry. Now, what I found was for green jello, your options were pistachio, lime, or I found this berry one, which I thought we would prefer. You're also going to need whipped topping, powdered sugar, and milk. So the first thing we always do is preheat the oven. For the cake, I'm doing 350 degrees. I'm going to spray my glass pan. Now I'm using a long pan. Just gonna go ahead and spray this. We're gonna go ahead and make our cake. It's just a basic box cake. I figured I would keep it simple. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna dump that in. Now you can always use just an egg product, egg white product. I do the eggs fresh. So we're just going to go ahead and get the egg whites. <laughs> Basic cake. Make sure you get the corners. We're just gonna put it in the oven, 350 degrees till it's golden brown. Our cake is in the oven baking, so we're gonna go ahead and make the topping. You're gonna need a package of vanilla pudding. I'm just using this one from Aldi. In our bowl, we're gonna mix one cup of cold milk, a quarter cup of confection sugar, and our pudding. So now we're gonna add in about eight ounces of the whipped topping. This is a large one, so I'm just gonna do about half the container. I'm just gonna dump it in. Give that a mix. So now that that's all mixed up, I'm going to put this in the fridge to keep cold until our cake is ready to be iced. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the jello. All right, so if you watch any of my videos for my Instant Pot recipes, you know I love my electric tea kettle. I use that to heat up the hot water. So I'm just going to add in the jello. And I'm going to add in some hot water. Look at that, pretty green. So we're just going to mix this up until it dissolves. Give it a little bit of a mix. The next step, we're going to dump the jello mix into the cake. Now, you can either use a fork and just go through and just poke it, but I'm going to use the back of a spoon. So, I'm just going to poke some holes. Now, I put it in a measuring cup just to make it easier to pour. Our cake 
has been chilling for a while. So I have my icing. Just gonna give that a little bit of a mix. And literally just what I'm gonna do, just gonna dump it right on top. Now I'm gonna use my offset spatula. I like it because you can get in the pan. It's gonna kind of go to the corners, the edges. Turn this. I picked up these adorable shamrock sprinkles, so I'm just going to sprinkle some of them on top. The jello in here to the cake. 